right there. And that's how I'm gonna have a look at the neck. We're gonna work on the mount all month long. We're gonna start with a pass. So first things first, she's gonna be seated up upright in this butterfly guard. I'm gonna flatten her out, both shoulders on the ground, and I wanna bind her feet right there so that she doesn't have a lot of powerful extension. So when I'm playing in here and she's trying to get underneath me, I'm gonna drop in and I'm gonna push her forward. I'm gonna flatten her back to the mat. So I'm going here and then as, I, as she goes down, I chase my hips close to her like that. You guys see how I do that? So I'm not just going with her down to the ground. Now I'm off base and I'm gonna get manipulated with my weight there. As she goes down, I bring my knees in so that my base is underneath me again, right? Very important that you do it that way. So we're in here fighting and fighting and I tighten her down. And now I'm gonna drop my head in here. I like to go this way first and then she starts to play, start to play. And then I'll pick this side. So I go one and then this way. I, I grab the ribs and I tighten down that knee so she can't move it. She feels now that she, what she wants to do is get over to her side and close this space right here. But when I drop this elbow here, when she goes to close that space, she feels that she can't do it. And so she puts her knee on the ground to try to make space. And that's when I flip my elbow right over the top of it. Now, when she goes to move her leg, I've got her, I got her pinned out at the lever there. So here, and then she starts to move and I pull over. Look how my knee comes to the middle and I pop up on this foot here. Now I'm here, play with me. And I pass into the half. As I pass, she puts in a butterfly hook and I flip my hip. You guys see that little movement there? I go here, play, be alive. Yeah, keep your defense up. And I stuff and I flip my hip. You guys see that? I'm around the head and I'm based. I'm not on the ground here. So she can move, she can move me too easy. I'm over the top of her here. And now I'm gonna start to work this underhook. I'm not gonna try to pass here. Let's turn um, this way here. Keep coming, keep coming. One, one, one. I'm not gonna try to pass here. I'm gonna stay low and I'm gonna plant either my hand here or I'm just gonna put my elbow here like this. Once I put my elbow here and I feel her go to push me at all, it's easy for me to just step right over. This looks like there's no way this pass would work. This works, this is probably the most high level pass I have, right? So once I get in here and I'm based in, I just put it right here. Take your, move your leg, move anything from here. You can't really go anywhere. See how I got her, bring your leg back towards your face. I got her blocked out right there. And when she tries to extend this to get me off of her, I just step over the top of it. You guys see that? I'm trying to be light on her here. When she feels that step over, she thinks under, quick, I gotta get this underhook here and get back to my half. And when she does, I open her neck and I hit her with the punch. When she feels that, here comes the arm inside. I'm gonna shift, arm triangle, move it over her head. She's gonna bridge back to that same side to escape her arm. When she does, I move her head, punch choke. She does it again. Chopping block and take her over. Now she tries to run and show the back. I want you to put your head down, base out, windshield wiper and drag her flat. Now I'm gonna go S grip, pull the S, push the chest, and finish here. So that's the whole sequence for the month, right? If you're, this is a little bit long, and if you're looking at it and you're like, yo, I have no idea what you just said. I never done jujitsu before, it's a beginner's class, what are you talking about? You're gonna do that every time you come, you're gonna do that 25 times every class. By the end of the month, you will know what I'm talking about. So even if you're looking at it now and you're like, I feel lost, Put the, just show up and put the reps in and you're gonna have a new skill by the end of the month, whether you have it now or not, okay? But it's gonna require the reps. Let's look at it again. Flatten, collapse, and I'm down. She goes to try to push my head to the other side. She don't like that. Perfect, I'm in. One, two. She goes to start flipping that butterfly and I stick her here. Step over, punch choke. Defend, chopping block, bridges in, escapes it, punch choke again, 
chopping block. She tries to run, drag her back to flat, pull the S and push the chest. All right, I want experience to pair up with inexperience. White belts, try not to be together. If it is two white belts, let it be, a, you know, somebody who's been training for a minute and, uh, you know, the rest of you. All right, ready? One, two, three. In your mind, just watch how we go through it. D up a little bit. That's, look at that. So I just suck everything down to the ground right there. I don't have a lot of weight on him right now. Fight me a little. Pause. As he starts to fight, I don't fight him from square on. Look, I walk over here just a little bit. So I'm making him, if I'm right here, he's defending me. Like, wh where are we going to go from here? I could go up the middle. I could go under. I could go that way. I could go that way. I could stand up. But if I do this, what do we know for sure? Yo, I'm about to run this pass right down your throat. Now, if you can stop me from coming this way, so be it. But I bet you can't. But you want to find out? That's what this kind of style of passing is. You understand what I'm saying? It's uh, three chords and the truth kind of passing. Like we're going to go this way down the pipe. And if you can stop it, then that's just, that's fine. But I guarantee you can't stop me. Got it? That's the mentality of this style of passing. We're up the middle. And now I come off to the side. Can you move? Look, you feel the bind that I have on this hip here? Look at this. Look at this. It's just a touch on his ribs. I put a frame in here. Pull your knee back to your chest right there. Move your hip around. You see what I'm saying? You can't move. I got you. That doesn't mean you can't move forever, but you can't move for this split second while I'm working my hips back here. So I'm in. I look the way I want to go, and I come over here and just a little bit off the center line. Now I've got an offensive angle. What's your next play from here? See that, how I just want to get this one up? I, I call it Spider-Man passing, like I'm crawl Spider-Man crawling up a building, you see? And now I'm here. Move, uh, defend. You better hang on to this door. Next play. What would you do now? D up, D up, D up, D up, D up. You see the sequence? Now what? Uh, not yet. You gotta defend the punch choke first. There, that's good. That's how I get you here. Now you better defend the arm choke. Oh shoot, I better base. I'm gonna run him again. Oh, he wants to go again. Oh, you wanna run this way this time? Go the other way. Now right there, look, go back. If I go, haha, I got him in the arm triangle, run that way. Go, go, run, run for reals. Look how he carried me with him when I stick to him. Rewind. That doesn't mean he's going to flip you over on your back, but it does mean that you're attached to his movement if you latch onto him like that. What I want you to do is have your body, stay right there, run that way a little bit. Have your body weight over here on the lever. Run, 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 run. It doesn't, like, run, run, run. It doesn't matter how strong he is or how bad he wants to run. If his shoulder stays pinned to the ground, he cannot go that way. You guys got it? So when you come off to make this arm triangle, and now slow, go to move. Look, watch my weight distribution. See this gap? My weight distribution is gonna go, run, to this shoulder, and look, I drag him back by the shoulder. You see what I'm saying? And now I'll put this S together, and I'll pull this elbow to the ground. And now I'll push the chest. And that's a super tight choke all while he thought he was getting out. Okay, one more time through the sequence. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three. But you could certainly stop me from moving. I'll let you put the power of it here. Sit up. So I'm able to get you flat. Move with me. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. If you once you start to overcome, go. Then I'm flipping. You see. Uh huh. And I'm caught. So my hips are going. All the way During this touch pass. So live during this touch pass, I might get over here, keep that butterfly hook alive. 
I might get over here and when I go to make, now give me a push here. When I go to make this play, he doesn't take the underhook. Maybe he's, no, no, keep your hand up like you're protecting your neck. Yeah, up in there. So maybe after the touch pass, I go, relax. I go straight to the arm triangle. So live, it might look like that. During the drilling though, as I hit this touch pass, he's gonna take the underhook right there. And that's how I'm gonna have a look at the neck. Okay, during a live situation though, it could, it could be, it could look different ways. It could be this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta give me some give me some live action here. It could be that one. Don't give me the same reaction. It could be that one. You guys see the difference in the two? They're the same, you're gonna make the same movement, just he's gonna give an underhook or not. You be prepared to take whichever. If he gives the underhook, threaten the chopping block. And when he goes to like, oh no, 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 I want that back, what do you do? Punch choke him. So we're building the reaction for both through the drilling. Got it? One, two, three. Once I put my elbow here and I feel her go to push me at all, it's easy for me to just step right over. 